we built the system actually using an off-the-shelf prosthetic as our basis, but then we put in high, like high-level computing, and we put in touch sensation, and we put in movement sensation. So when you when you look at the limb itself, it looks like any other limb, and but you can't tell that there's actually a highly sophisticated computerized communication and feedback system running inside of that. For the most part when you guys buzz my arm and the hand moves, that is almost the same as what I think when I go to close the hand. So if I have the arm on and I'm running things, mm -hmm. that whole vibrator feedback, it, I don't notice it because I've already initiated that movement. I'm making it do that. So I don't really notice the vibration. Now when I'm just sitting there not doing anything and you pull on the cord and it vibrates, mm -hmm. in my head it feels like I'm closing the hand. They feel as though their hands are moving even though they don't have a hand. And they feel as though their fingers are touching things even though they don't have fingers. And the interesting thing about it is that when we put all of these systems together, their brains actually feel like the hand is human. Like when I lean this back, it's touching my finger. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Um, I can actually tell that it's doing that. So. If you need to adjust your arm right now, it's a good time. Yeah, I'm going to kind of see what happens when I get to my second one. Mm -hmm. Because I think yeah, for sure. that's one that's a little bit more to key about. Mm -hmm. The disconnect now is sensation. You can only know until we have sensation, we only know what that hand is doing if we're looking at it. So that means I can't turn away and grab that pop like you can. You can grab that soda can or I can with my right hand um, because I can feel it. You can't do that with a prosthesis. You have to genuinely be looking at it. You have to look at it to see how hard you're squeezing it to make sure that you don't squeeze that bottle or that can so hard that the drink comes out of it. What sensation is doing both touch, um, whether it's pressure, temperature, those are really important things that he's giving back, that this team and what they're doing are giving back to amputees like myself. It's giving you that back. It's not just giving you back function. It's giving you back a real connection. And that connection, I truly think, is not just, it helps that disconnect from this is a machine that's attached to me to this is a part of me. And that's a really, really big deal when it comes to amputations and amputees and us being able to heal and move forward from whatever it is that caused that.